you know, ever since the NYCC passed this past weekend, in many companies, whether they're comic book companies or whatever, revealed some upcoming plans, just like they do in San Diego during the summer. One of them, of course, being Archie Comics, revealing what's to come in the next year or so, next few months and year or so, for uh, for the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book. Uh, of course, we all know about the crossover, which is upcoming. Um, again, we all know about the crossover, which is upcoming next summer. It's actually supposed to start April in Mega Man and Sonic Universe, and it really start going and getting going, I should say, around May and into August. The last issue, of course, being a Sonic being the main, the, the conclusion being in the main Sonic the Hedgehog combo. Uh, But of course, you know, that's not the only thing that was shown off. Like I said, they showed off upcoming issue covers for the Chaotix uh, Universe arc. Talking about the one-shot universe uh, uh, issue implies for Sonic Underground and so forth. It's all shown uh, covers of previous issues or just released issues. Um, and of course, the big news coming out of that, if you're a Sonic fan, is the revelation that Sally will be restored, but she's going to have a new look. A more... I don't know who that is. A more segified, I guess as people would say, look. But according to numerous uh, people, according to numerous people, um, it... From what they could tell, from what they could tell by looking um, at her design and then kind of doing, I guess, a little bit of research, from what they could see is, yes, she does have a more segified look, but it seems when you look in the face, they're drawing a little bit of inspiration from her original pink-haired, uh, uh, not pink, her original black hair, black brunette, black brunette hair, pink fur design. Basically her pink, the pink Sally design is, is what they're saying. Basically facial or maybe body wise. I'm not really sure. And again though, a lot of people, like I said, feels that, feel that, you know, she's going to probably have a change in personality. That they're going to de-age her. She's going to look younger and everything. She's going to act differently. I have said this time and time again in text, and I said this last night uh, in a video, in a after I read off uh, somebody's uh, little uh, editorial, I said basically that I don't think she's going to be DH. I don't think she's going to be, I don't think she's going to have a personality change. And if she does, it's going to be a tweak. It's going to be like, like this. It's going to be like a little, that's it. Nothing more. I mean, I, I said today in, in various forms, you know, and I, and I even said it last night in the video, Bunny has had a change of uh, has had her design changed many times on two, a couple of occasions, and she's gone back and forth. When you think about it, even now that she's known for her cowgirl outfit, she still kind of wears the leotard kind of look. Either she's roboticized or not, she still has that leotard look. Yeah, she has the long hair, the barrettes, or the braided hair now, whatever you want, or the braided ponytails now, whatever you want to call it. But she still switches back and forth, and the way I look at it, like I said last night, I feel it's going to go either way. It, I feel that if it goes kind of as a mixed reaction, if it goes over strongly with a mixed reaction, and I'm pretty sure they're already considering this, Archie Comics that is, that they're going to have to probably switch her back and forth, like every few issues, you'll have her with her original design, you know, with her original design, Sat AM season two design, as well as you'll probably have her with every other issues with the new design. So I think they're going to be switching it back and forth if it gets a mixed reaction. Again, though, if it gets a good reaction, that new design is going to stay, whether we like it or not. And yeah, if you want to, you could pretty much put the blame on on a group of parents, and in, in with all due respect, 
individual moms and dads for the possibility of this happening. But again, I digress, but I digress on that because personally, I like to look. Personally, I, I like to look. I don't think there's anything wrong with it because as long as you still see Sally in the face, and a lot of people even have even said the same thing, as long as you see it's her, then you know she's going to be okay. I mean, they're not going to do much with the character. But, you know, what, that, again, that wasn't the only thing, like I said, they talked about. They talked about this crossover. Uh, they showed images of what some of the inside of the issues would be and stuff like that. And, of course, they obviously talked about the one-shot issues that came out this month, or coming out this month, like, 40, like the uh, one-shot issue for Universe on All-Stars Racing Transformed as well as the Olympic tie-in one, which is obviously is a couple months late for, uh, in the main comic, with a backup story feed focusing on the current story arc as well. See that? So though I... So this is... So I know... I know the child says that, that I have a question I'd like to have answered. A question I want to, I would like to have answered. So I want to pose, I want to get right to the point. I want to pose this question to Mega Beatman, who recently did his review for Sonic Universe 45. I want to pose this question to Jonathan 83X, Laser X5, Sonic Sat AM X93, Ezekiel 300, Digimon 11. I want to pose this question to you guys. I want to pose this question to those of the Blue Legend uh, group on Facebook. To MJ Knight on Facebook. I want to pose this question, or several questions I should say, to those on Divinite. I want to pose this question to you guys. And I'll pose it in text and text as well if I have to in several little forms with a link to the video. Not the video on there itself, it's just a link. But I want to pose this, these questions to you. One, what are your thoughts? Your true, honest thoughts. Do you think what many people are saying is true? Do you think Ian Flynn, Archie Comics, would go as far as to not only redesign an iconic character like Sal, after 20 years of the same design, but do you think they'd go as far as to de-age her or change her personality? Again, my honest answer is I don't think so. If there is anything changed, it'd be a, a tweak. It'd like a, that's it. But then let me ask you this as well. What about these one-shot comics? Do you think they're necessary at times? Do you think they should wait to do these one-shot things after a story arc is done? Personally, you know, I'm not in charge at Archie Comics or Sega, but I truly feel that maybe they should have waited. Don't interrupt anything. And what about the crossover? Do you think it should have waited if it's going to be non-canon? Or, if it's canon, do you think they should at least kind of give us an idea if why it will be canon? And what it has to do with the story arc in both comics? And do you think if it's not, and do you think it will be non-canon or canon? Personally, if it's canon, again, that would kind of explain maybe Sally's distortion. If it's non-canon, quite honestly, it could have waited until the current story arc was over. So, and also, also, do you think that with Sally's redesign, that other characters will get similar treatment? And do you think perhaps the reason for this could be do the rumored reboot in the next few years? Or maybe due to the fact that they may finally get their official game debuts? What do you think? Me? You know, I kind of do find it a little suspicious that they would segify a character like Sally, give her gloves and everything, an outfit similar to what you would see on places like DeviantArt, 
if they weren't planning something big with her. If they weren't planning to probably take it a step further. So I'm thinking maybe there's something there. I'm thinking there's something there. But what do you think? Also, here's one thought. Here's one more question for you. With her new design, and everybody already drawing up better, I guess you could say, images of it. But when you look at it, first of all, do you see the original Pink Sally influence? Do you see Sally... You, do you still see the Sally you know? And lastly, but not least, do you think perhaps Ian Flynn and the artist over at Archie Comics on the comic book itself either stole or drew influence from the fan art of Sally in different outfits even beforehand? Like, let's say the outfit she has in Sonic GX, the Flash show, that little Flash series. What do you got? Let me know down below. Comment if you like. I will post this here on YouTube, of course, and it will go to Twitter. So I ask any fans here on Twitter to answer as well. It will be on Facebook at the MJ Knight group as well as that Blue Legends group. I will ask it hopefully in text if, you can, if I can, as well as maybe provide the video link. If not, that's fine too. But I'm asking this question to you guys. Let me know what you think. Res video responses are greatly appreciated. Audio video doesn't matter. On screen camera doesn't matter. I would like to hear some video responses out of you. Comment it as well, but video responses are greatly welcome for this. And also to Jamie Tude, James Sullivan, I asked these questions and Zero Nights Work. These questions I just asked, what do you guys think? Comment down below, provide, the vi provide video responses, are greatly appreciated, and I hope you all have a good day.